Good morning guys. Today I'm here with Leslie again. Hi. And we are doing a special house. I've been here with Expomo but I really wanted to come back because I like the house. I didn't record that at the time but I really would love to record this house so I'm doing it again. It's really hot. It's 9 in the morning. It's already almost 30, 30. degrees. So it's gonna be a long walk down. Let's see if this house is promising. Yeah. Let's go. While we are walking down, I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history of this house. This house was a farm, it's called Casa dos Anciens, Quinta dos Anciens. Basically means it's the elderly's house, like the, the wise people. It's literally in the middle of nowhere, you barely have service in here. It's, <laughs> it's so bad, <laughs> we, we can't go by car and... Yeah, I will tell you the rest of the story inside because this house is beautiful. Uh, me and Leslie named it the Wobbly House. <laughs> You're gonna see it inside because the floors and literally the whole house is wobbling. <laughs> it's so crazy, but yeah, let's just go inside. This is so overgrown. Okay, but now on the right, towards the house. This is the old entrance of the house. Look, we can wow. even go through that. You, if last time you were here, you went through there. No, I think I jumped through here, but that's impossible too. But I think that's an Urbex highway, so okay, let's, let's try this. There you can see the house in the distance. We did a mistake. What? We should have put long pants. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, this is the pathway. Okay. Okay. We are here. We are here at the house. Whoa. So incredibly calm over here. I already feel spider webs. <laughs> spider webs. A true time capsule. Oh, it's so I overgrown. Film this place. I'm excited for it. Wow. This is more than overgrown, like this is taking over the house. Nature is li literally taking over. Okay. Let's film this place. I think you can already see why we call it the wobbly house. 
it's falling off and okay this doesn't shake but the other rooms shake a lot the floor is not good so we have to be safe and another thing last time that I was here with Moreno he saw a snake I didn't see it I was looking for it but I didn't see it so we have to be careful for the snakes okay, that's good. and this house has some amazing things I'm so excited to show you all and explain stuff so let's go Okay, so I'm gonna start off the video where we came from, the kitchen. It's a little bit messy, but it's so beautiful. This place, it's so old. It has a lot of history. And the craziest part, it's everything is still in here. Just take a look at the dishes. The last man's dishes are just here. plants are <laughs> taking over the house as you probably saw it from the outside I love this painting it's so beautiful it's a really old stove and in this house because they have like a lot of stoves and ovens stone ovens they just built this gigantic chimney so they didn't have to have exhausters or anything they just have this like all the smoke goes up and you don't need to worry about it that's why the, wall, the walls are all burnt and this is the biggest chimney I've ever seen like in wider terms like wow I've seen like taller ones but this wide it's one of the biggest and what I love about this house, it's these little things that we find like really Portuguese traditional things. There was a TV supposed to be in here. They had three fridges because the family was 10 people. To tell you a little bit of the history before I keep going, a man and a woman built this house in the beginnings of the 1900s and they had eight kids inside. They grew up on this house. The mother died in early ages of uh, the kids. And the kids in their 20s went to bigger cities because this is literally in the middle of nowhere. The education, it's not good. So they just went to get work and education better. So the man lived alone for quite some years inside of this house. But he got remarried to another woman. But a few years after, he got divorced. So the widow just stayed in here until 1991 where unfortunately the man passed away and left this incredible house to their kids. For six years they were fighting over the, the house for sharings, you know how does it work, it's really sad. But in 1997 they tried to sell the house for 1,100 escudos, it's the old currency of Portugal. And translated to today's money, it's literally 5 cents in euros, literally 5 cents. It's nothing for a house, but they just try to sell it because no one wants the house. Like, it's in the middle of nowhere, it's really hard to, to get here. Yeah, they just try to sell it as quickly as possible, they, it di didn't work out, sadly. But, yeah, that's the history of this place. And. I'm gonna go to the kitchen again because I was there. <laughs> In here on the table we can see a lot of things. I love this hair dryer. It's so small and so old. This is one of the kids. I think there's more photos inside so I will show it later. And these are the papers for selling the house and stuff so I'm not gonna show you that much but yeah there's a lot of small Portuguese things like for example these cups really Portuguese I love those designs you see the flowers and everything I really love that design and that's a really famous Porto wine brand 
really cool and really good wine. I see some beautiful chairs. Like you see, all the chairs are different, so maybe they just collect chairs or something because they are literally all different. There's no single chair equal. That's the main chair, like the, the man would sit in there. Of course, always the head of a house with a beautiful chair. This is another chair, probably for the woman. But I think this design is from the, the other room. I will show you after, but there's a lot of things on the floor. Rugs, carpets, a toaster. This is a toaster. And this pantry is just full of stuff. Like I told you, they left everything. The men left everything. It's really full of coffee and oils. Let's close it back. The floor of the house, it's not good. As you can see, there's holes everywhere. So you have to be really careful. And on the corridor, you can see this beautiful chandelier. It was probably hanging on some room. Now it's just here. Oh, and this beautiful Sigma swing machine. So classic and so old. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. This swing machine and this table are so cool together. Look at the design. Wow. Okay, let's go further. This was probably the main room. You see a nice bed, but this is all thrown apart and I see holes everywhere. So I'm not gonna go their way. This is the bathroom. This is really an old bathroom. Take a look at the sink. There's no water running anymore, of course, but this is so crazy. The black mold on the walls. Even like this, this is so beautiful. I love this thing, I don't know why. And these are the old toilets. <laughs> It's literally just a hole on a piece of wood. It's really the old toilets. There's some toilet paper left. But yeah, it's so cool. And the curtains down there. <laughs> oh, this is a normal toilet. But take a look. Everything is growing inside of this house. Look, the nature is literally taking over, asking, not even asking, just literally taking over. I want to record this room, but there's a bed inside, so I'm just gonna lay down, open it. The bed is not inside right now, but this was probably another room. It's, it's all decayed and destroyed. Some clothes of the man. You see it, the jackets and everything. Yeah. Let's close it back. And this is the way to the attic. There's n not much upstairs, I'm not gonna go there. But just to show you how steep the stairs are. These are literally Portuguese stairs. They're really small. Look, my feet barely fits in there. I'm gonna. Just go up a little bit so you can see. Like my feet doesn't doesn't fit, and they're so 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 steep. Really Portuguese stairs. Let's close these two. It's really it's really hot up there. It's really hot today. Let's keep going. Before I go into the living space, I just want to show you this room, because this room, it was another bedroom, 
fully decayed fully fully decayed you see there's a hole I'm not gonna even step on this room because it's really dangerous but there's some pictures portraits oh paintings 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 on the wall <laughs> I barely can see it from here but yeah it's completely trashed with a gasket so just gonna close this again and now let's see this fantastic room I love it I love it so much this house is so beautiful it's really decay but well I just love that everything is in here and everything is so detailed and perfect and little porcelain things are really Portuguese things oh people always have this around the house I think I even have this dog in my house it's so cool it's really really cool take a look at details in everything I think this is one of the sons or the man in the early ages, but I don't know. Religious artifacts. Really cool. More stuff in here. This is the paintings that I like to see. So beautiful and so detailed. Take a look. Take a look at just these coffee cups. Portuguese people always hang this like in this way, just easier to take it out. It's just. And now I can. Okay, <laughs> forget it. Oh, oh, even up there, you see those, those uh, glasses? It's for Porto wine just put it in a little bit Porto wine is not to drink in big cups it's like this because the wine is really strong so yeah really cool and the man had a lot of cups look the man had literally a lot of cups of it let's close it back and take a look at this bench Leslie and Moreno are always telling me like this is Portuguese like we don't see this often but I think this is normal, but if they say so, who am I? Literally nowhere around the world you see benches like that. Really? Really. I've never seen one except for Portugal. That's crazy, because I think this is normal, like just putting chairs together. It's just for decoration. In almost every house you will find something like this. And this painting, it's... It's still so good, it's still so neat, it's so beautiful. Let's go into this little area. Oh, you see, everything is growing inside. Like, one day this place is gonna fall and nature is gonna take over. It's really, literally, nature is walking in on every room, but Take a look at this tent, this table where the man writes or draw stuff. For the things I found, I think the man was a, a sketch artist or something. Or a poet maybe? Or a poet, yeah, I don't know, because I never seen these papers. You say, os ridiculous, it's like the ridiculous. And they are literally from 1933, it's before the war. And this is, says like 15, 15 years of peace. And this is not like a newspaper, this is just a sheet. A big sheet full of. Oh, where is the cat? Like, I think this is like. A, it's not a comic uh, newspaper, but it's like a sketch paper where it's just funny stuff written. And it's like. It's from the 11th of November. 15 of November, 18 November, so it's, I don't think it's daily, but it's like, it looks daily, 
It looks daily, but it, or... It is daily. No, 11. Yeah, but there's just a few missing. Yeah. I don't know. But this is weird. I, I never found this in an abandoned place. I, div I didn't even know this exists. And this radio. Really cool one. Philips. I think it's the, the oldest radio I've ever found. That still works. <laughs> wow. And this part right here is just. Oh. This painting of this woman, it's so beautiful. I don't even know if it's a picture or a painting, like, it's just really, really beautiful. And this stand, you see like this stand, it's like for paintings, to put the painting on and paint, but I don't know, I really don't know what the man did in this house. And this clock, really detailed clock. Let's see if he has the... No, he doesn't. Oh, it's with weights. It's a different clock. I thought it was like the, the hanging thing, you know? But it's not. Wow, it's with weights. Wow, it still works. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. There's a reason why we call it the Wobbly House, or at least I call it the Wobbly House. This floor, this room, it's the reason. It's literally falling down. I, I'm so scared of stepping on it because... Yeah, it, this is really wobbly. The floor is cracks everywhere. Like, yeah, you can see cracks everywhere. But this is so beautiful. I have to... Take a look up close to this one. Just take a look at this huge TV. It's so beautiful. This, this, this stand for the TV and everything. Wow. The Last Supper. Like the mirror, the sofa, the sofas. It's really amazing stuff even this old radio it's not Philips like the other one but it's just amazing okay in this corner like in Portugal I don't know why but women in Portugal really love to put round tables on corners <laughs> It's really weird, but my grandmother has one. I've seen it so many times. And they just put a table on a corner and put stuff on it. <laughs> it's really funny. But normally it's pictures or perfumes or something. And this actually has some photos and stuff, but for the most part it's like little things. You see? the floor and everything. This was an old entranceway. It's fully overgrown. Another big mirror. And this was probably the man. Oh, yeah, Leslie was right. Like, look at the beer. It's so weird. At that time, they had like weird styles. Oh, we have right now re uh, weird styles, but <laughs> you know the Amish people in America with the beards. That's the same style of beard. Oh, people, yeah, people yeah. who watch you probably know the Amish people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know what beard. you're talking about. Yeah, it really looks like it. Yeah, it's so cool. I think it's the man. I really love this clock. It's a frame clock. Oh, it's Quartz, really famous brand, really cool. Another, another beautiful stand. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna go. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. Don't wanna fall, but you see, 
this room was probably some kind of an office. No, I have to go. Wait. Yeah, this was probably some kind of an office. It's so full of stuff that doesn't make echo. But you see like this big table on the middle. And I see like a stand. Whoa. I don't know, uh, if I could I would walk in, but I don't know what I'm stepping on, so just filming through the door. There's so much stuff in here. Let's go over and see the upstairs. Oh no, wait, wait, before that, there's a lot of pictures in here. Whoa. Of course, they would sing in church. Portuguese people are really religious. They're probably the kids. So cool to see this. This is a photo from a baptism or something. Wedding. They have some weird photos, I must say. Oh. This is probably the man. Wow. Oh! <laughs> Christmas photos even. Really cool. Chest full of blankets. And yeah. This is the overview of the room. With Leslie. <laughs> Let's see what's on this side. Going in, oh, whoa. Okay, I have to be really careful because I think there's like almost no floor. <laughs> A vacuum cleaner. The nature is fully taking over. Let's see what's upstairs. Whoa, not even a floor anymore. Just let me take a peek inside. This was probably the children's bedroom. Ceiling, almost every single thing, it's the same. Take a look at the chimney that I was in the kitchen. It's really big, really long. Another room full of stuff. Kids, probably a kid's room. Yeah, definitely a kid's room. There's even clothes hanging. I see dresses, so probably this was a, a woman's. The ceiling, all wood. Looks really nice, actually. And yeah. Pictures in here, baby pictures. That's a painting of a dress. Yeah, definitely a woman's bathroom. A more modern TV in here. Oh, Phila. Really nice brand nowadays. And just a little stand with a CD on it. I think that's it for upstairs. I'm not sure if we can get there, but I think there's cars in the garage. So let's just try to go there. And Leslie saw a barn, so maybe we can try to go there too and see what's left behind. Okay, before I forget, let's just check out this balcony. Wow. Yeah, let me see. Okay, I can send in here. 
Yeah, Leslie was right. There's like some kind of a barn down there. And they had this big table with this big bench just to look out at this view, have a drink, relax, table, sofa. Yeah, and they hang their clothes in here too. You see the wire? Careful. Yeah, you have to be really careful because the wood it's breaking. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna do Do this? you want me to go first uh, or you literally did the <laughs> the worst way possible? Okay. Let's go down. Let's go down. Whoa. Some interesting things happen. This Whoa. looks like a big gear or something like that, but it's made from wood. You're right. There's some weird artifacts in here. Yeah. You see that that's a big chest. Real big chest. Let me bring it into view. Wow. I'm wondering what this is over here then. Have you seen this? No. I if somebody knows, just let us know in the comment section. Yeah. Because we are both very curious about it. <laughs> it's, it's not a wine barrel, but what do you call this? Wine uh, it, uh, yeah. Me neither. I don't know. It's like a glass you fill yeah, up with. Yeah, glass, glass uh, bottle of wine, but it's really huge. Yeah, huge. Huge one. Oh my god! These cases are so cool. My father, uh, my grandfather has uh, things like this. Like he puts like little things, like nails and everything in here. It's so cool. Looks like. The, the investigation um, box, you know, the from the, the TV. <sighs> Whoa. But we can try that door. Oh, I love those these things. You know what this is for? It's for grinding uh, grains and. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not for ice cream, No, you put like, for example, corn in here. Oh, yeah, corn. Sorry. And you spin it around. Yeah. And the the dust flies off, and the corn stays like in there under a bucket that the the, the people put in there, like. Yeah, that used to. You see it? Oh yeah. Maybe that's why the the things the the gears are here. Yeah. Just take a look. This we right now we are under the balcony. Just take a look how decayed this wood is. It's a little wood worms in here. Yeah, and it's it's literally it's falling apart. Yeah. Okay, so this is the outside of the house. And under here is the cars. Ow! 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 Why did we, didn't we put a long pants? <laughs> I don't know. The, uh, Completely decayed. Wow, that's a cool car. Yeah, I was just looking at it. It's probably a Citroën. It's really, Two horsepower really Citroen. old. This is, a, this is also a Citroën. I think so. I really don't know. Okay. 
this is full of spider webs. I was trying to see if I can show you the the front of the car, but it's literally impossible. Get out! Look at this! What? Oh my god! This is literally huge. <laughs> a complete white cell. This is probably the house that we saw from the. Oh yeah. Yeah. Probably is so the the barn. Why did we get that? <laughs> Good question. It's more really really beautiful seeing all of this in the benches and everything wow didn't expect this didn't know about this <laughs> well let's go I hope you guys like this week's video. It was such a crazy place and this house, the history, everything. It was just beautiful. I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the house and the video. This is my friend Leslie. If you don't know him, he has a channel with his brother. It's Bros of DK. I'm sure you're a subscriber already, but if you're not, go check him out. Link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to me, of course. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao! This table where the man would film stuff. Would film stuff? <laughs> it's not focused. You just put it in here and you serve it like that. Don't worry, about let me hold it. Okay. Unless you shed us. Ooh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Let's go into this. <sighs> Sorry. No worries. And... Okay, that was good, that was good. Um, get education better. Always the, the head. The, the head of the house. Alt if you don't subscribe. Uh, if you're not a right subs... Phonix. Phonix. Uh, This is my friend Leslie, if you don't know him, he has a channel with... Okay, wait. And... Porto. Yeah, wine. Porto, it's wine, but it's... It's wine. It's wine. Yeah, but strong wine. It's Porto. Yeah, but it's wine. <laughs> no, don't worry, don't worry. No, no. Um, it's still wine, it doesn't... <laughs> The the elder the el, elder he means the elder of uh, elder elder foot uh, that's elderly. And this they used to relax at night. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.